Deer, geese, and the occasional cougar have paraded through metro neighborhoods, and now the wily e. coyote, which is infiltrating the metro area in record numbers. Coyotes do not belong in residential backyards around the Twin Cities, and there are many negative and harmful effects that can come out of it. All of you live in the Twin Cities, and probably in places where many coyotes have been spotted. I live in Edina, Minnesota, and I know there have been many reported spottings of coyotes and even reported attacks on household dogs. Twin Cities residents should be properly informed about coyotes living in the Twin Cities because the more knowledge that is spread about dealing with urban coyotes, the less likely coyotes are to attack and cause problems. I will be demonstrating that Twin Cities residents' lack of knowledge of urban coyotes is a serious problem and explaining my specific plan to solve this problem. People should be aware of how to interact when coyotes are encountered. It is important for Twin Cities residents to know appropriate actions to take when a coyote is seen. There have been multiple reported cases where Twin Cities residents have approached a coyote re until realizing it was not a small German Shepherd. As you can see, coyotes and German Shepherds have very similar characteristic traits but it's important to know their distinguishing characteristic traits. For instance, coyotes are much sleeker than dogs and have a more pointed muzzle. And adult coyotes weigh between 25 and 35 pounds as opposed to adult German Shepherds anywhere from 60 to 80. Their tail is a key distinguishing factor and it's very full and cylindrical shape and is usually in a vertical way down to the ground and not horizontal. Most people do not know when encountering a coyote, hazing is appropriate. In an article in the search being written by Mary Jane Semantica, February 2012, called Coyotes in Your Yard, Haze Away, stressed the importance of hazing. The more comfortable coyotes are around people, the, less, the more problems that will occur. All coyotes that have been attacked, that have reported attacks, have directly or indirectly been fed by humans which has led coyotes lo to losing fear in humans, said by VM Lukasik in an article called Human Interactions of Urban Coyotes in 2009. Minnesota Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Manager Brian Lewis in an article called Coyote Ugly in the Twin Cities Metro in 2011 said, by an article, by the number of calls I get, there's obviously something going on. Either they are right, getting numerous... Either they are getting more numerous or they are just becoming more comfortable around people. When coyotes become more comfortable around humans, they lose fear and humans are more likely to attack. In recent years, the coyote population in the Twin Cities has risen. St. Paul Animal Control Supervisor Bill Stephenson in 2010 told Star Tribune staff writer, The one thing I'm sure about is the population of coyotes is growing. Kevin Gillis in 2010 wrote an article in the Star Tribune, Wiley Coyotes Make Themselves at Home in the Metro, s said, The boom of coyotes in the Twin Cities mirrors trends in Chicago, New York, and Calgary, and other, and other main cities where shy animals has taken housekeeping even in congested districts. In 2005, Sam Gerhardt wrote an article called Ecology of Management of Coyotes and Landscapes and reported and talked about the reported coyote attacks on two children. The public response to this was explosive, and it wasn't until after this incident where the city of Calgary became very interested in learning more about urban coyotes and ways to minimize conflict. No humans have been attacked in the Twin Cities, and there, but there's no reason to wait around to do something to uh, solve this problem. <coughs> in order to spread knowledge of urban coyotes in the Twin Cities, I've created a detailed brochure, informative coyote poster, and helped and worked with Lindsay Dasher in holding a seminar about urban coyotes in Bloomington, Minnesota. The more people are aware of coyotes live all over the Twin Cities, the fewer conflicts that will occur. First, I'm going to put up posters all around the Twin Cities in populated street corners and populated stores and I'm going to put up brochures in the fronts of uh, very congested and highly popular stores all over the suburbs and Twin Cities. Putting up posters and handing out brochures will spark conversation around the Twin Cities about these urban coyotes. Even if the 
you even if you just read the title, Urban Coyotes in the Twin Cities on the brochure or poster, it will be eye-catching enough and attention-grabbing enough to make you look more into the topic. Holding a seminar in Bloomington will give the opportunity for Twin Cities residents to come and learn about urban coyotes and address any problems or concerns they may have. Many cities, including Edina, Egan, St. Louis Park, have held seminars this year on urban coyotes that have been very successful. Edina held a seminar this past February and had such an overwhelming attendance that they have held six other seminars that same month. I've contacted Lindsay Dasher, an urban wildlife specialist, because she has been involved in coyote seminars around the Twin Cities. The city of Bloomington was already hoping to follow in the footsteps and of other cities and, and holding a seminar. They were planning on having one at some point this year, and when I contacted Lindsay and told her about my public discourse project, she was very happy to hear what I was doing. I will be attending the seminar May 15th and hopefully helping out in whatever way I can. In the seminar, Lindsay Dasher will be describing coyote ecology, habitats, and hazing to help our citizens understand how to live with among the coyotes in Bloomington and how to avoid conflict with them. It is important to know that coyotes are living all over the Twin Cities and informing people by handing out brochures and putting up posters is the first step to solving this problem. Putting up posters and handing out brochures and holding a seminar in the Twin Cities will effectively get the word out about urban coyotes in the Twin Cities so that we do not follow in the footsteps of cities like Calgary.